In today's iPhone and iPad tip, we are going to talk about how to save some time when you have to fill out forms or type things on your iPad or your iPhone. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the notes to show you how this shortcut is going to work. So if I need to type in my email address in, as a username or just type it in an email, I would normally have to type in my full address, but I've created a shortcut of just my initials and it automatically puts in the entire email address. If I want to put in my alternate email address, I can just type in three initials and iOS automatically fills in the email address for me. So to create these shortcuts, you first need to go back to your settings, the little gray gears. Then you want to go into general and under general you're going to go to keyboard. In the keyboard section, scroll toward the bottom of the screen and you're going to see an area called shortcuts and in your shortcuts you can type anything you want in there. So we're going to click add a shortcut and I'm going to say that the phrase is my full city and state which is actually quite long. So there it is. So in the phrase section type in the entire sentence or name or whatever you want to type that you type often in the phrase section and then under the shortcut you need to type in something that's memorable so that you can bring up that phrase when you type in the shortcut. So I've typed in my phrase, I've typed in a shortcut, and then I'll tap save. Go back to notes and we'll demonstrate this. So I already had one in there for Grand Junction. If I just type in GJ and then hit enter or space, it automatically comes up and we just created the GJC and that automatically typed in the Grand Junction, Colorado. So that's how you can use the iOS keyboard shortcuts on your iPhone or your iPad.